Hi guys, welcome back to Infosec Train. My name is Divyani and today we have Mr. Ashish with us. He's a cyber security expert and a trainer at Infosec Train. Hi Ashish, how are you doing? Hi Divyani, hi everyone. I'm good. Thank you. Last month, the internet was on fire with the famous Log4j vulnerability attack. The second vulnerability detected posed a denial of service attack. So, denial of service is something which is not uh, very uncommon in today's world. And uh, let's learn something more about it. So, Ashish, what is a denial of service or distributed denial of service attack? See, if we talk about denial of service or DOS, uh, famously it is also known as DOS attack. So, what we know about that, first we have to know about the cyber security pillars. So we have three pillars in cyber security, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Confidentiality means our data should be secure and away from the unauthorized access. Integrity that our data should be unaltered. And availability means that our data should be available every time, right? Every time we need. So what a cyber security pillar is getting compromised in Denial of service is availability. So that means denial of service is an attack on availability. So what we do, we attack availability of a system and we try to bring down a particular website, let's say. So what attackers do, they try their best to hack a website. If they are able to hack it, that's good. But if they are not able to hack it, they could uh, or they are not able to pass those inline defenses in between what the attackers generally tend to do they tend to bring down the website so either they should be able to attack or they will be bringing down the website using the denial of service now denial of service comes in multiple variants right so when you send a lots of requests from a single source Let's say I have my device and I'm attacking a web server. So from my device, I'm sending lots and lots of requests. And I'm eating up the bandwidth of that server. So that is DOS, denial of service only. And we are eating up the bandwidth. But then we have distributed denial of service or DDoS we say. So sending loads and loads of requests from multiple sources this time. You are not relying on a single source. You are sending the request from multiple sources. That is what that is distributed denial of service. Okay. And uh, so what are the categories of DOS and DDoS? So there are basically three things, three categories you can see. So very first one is your volumetric attack. So basically when I'm saying like volumetric attack, my target is to consume the bandwidth of the target. My goal is to eat up the bandwidth of the target of the target server. And it is uh, the volumetric attack is measured in bits per second. So we have like, uh, if you guys have heard about ping of death, ICMP flood, UDP flood. So when we are sending big data packets to consume maximum bandwidth on my target. So that is your volumetric attack. Then we have protocol based attack. Now what we do. In the in this uh, protocol based attack, we consume resources like connection state table. So in firewall, we have connection state table. In load balancers as well, in application servers as well, we have connection state table where your connection uh, rules are written, right? You can say that. So all these places where your connection state tables are present what we do we consume these resources and it is measured in packets per second so we are filling up the connection state table so it will not be working anymore like we have thin flood attack we have fragmentation attack so these kinds of attacks are in protocol based attack then we have application layer attack now this primarily means uh, what we are gonna attack uh, we are gonna consume the application resources right now what we have it is measured in requests per second so we are sending multiple requests to our application server let's say so uh, whenever we access a website or browse a website so what we are doing in that website we are 
sending get request post request we are getting so well known attack for this application layer attack is your get post attack right so we are sending lots and lots of requests of getting a web page right so that is what that is application layer attack the most common attack and this is slow loris attack as well so these are the three categories of dos ddos attacks thank you ashish uh, so in order to know more about dos and ddos you guys can check out our courses at www.infosectrain.com see you guys in the next video till then bye bye